Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to a brand new FIFA 18 player review on my channel. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be reviewing 87 rated third in form Ricardo Cresma. So if you do want to go and pick up this card and try him out for yourself, you will have to pay anywhere between 10,750 to 150,000 coins on both Xbox One and PlayStation 4. And at the moment, it's going for around 50,000 coins. So as well, looking in the pace, shooting, passing and dribbling category has a load of dark greens, a few light greens and then moving on into the defence and physical categories, he's got a few reds, a few oranges and then the light green of 75 stamina. So now moving into the pros and cons for third in form Kresma. The first pro I could find with Kresma was his long shots. Now Kresma, as I already said in his previous player review, when reviewing his second in form, this guy has one of the best long shots on the game. And the main reason is just because you know the amount of payout power um, he's able to generate and the curve is just honestly incredible. And it just makes him so good for taking long shots. After that, the next pro I could find with this card was his dribbling. Now this guy is one of the best dribblers on FIFA 18. As you'll see from these clips, he just keeps it really close to his feet and he just keeps it like it's basically impossible for defenders to dispossess him just because his dribbling is so good and it feels like really silky smooth when performing school moves with um, what is also very very helpful so now moving into the cons the first con I could find with him was his strength now Kresma is a very weak um, on the ball he only has around 50 strength what isn't the best um, so you will realize that he does get pushed off the ball quite a lot and then the final con I got found with him was his finishing, and this was probably the most annoying thing about this card. Um, his long shots were really good from outside the box, but if he ever had the ball um, with him on the inside of the box and took the shot, it wouldn't really go in a lot of the times, and it can get quite frustrating, especially when you're trying to, you know, win matches, and then your shots are going wide. Um, so that's one thing you need to look out for when playing with Kresma. And then finally, as you know, this guy is usually a right mid, and he's now moved to the left mid position, and I actually prefer him on the right mid position. I'm not really too sure why. Usually I prefer left footed players, I'm sorry, left um, sided players who have right foot. Um, so, you know, they can cut inside and take the finesse shot. But for Charisma, I just prefer him on the right for some reason. Um, I'm not really too sure why. But anyway, guys, this has been the highlights. Now let's get into the overview. So now moving on to the overview for third in form Kresma, we're going to start with the value for coins and now I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10, he's going for around 40 to 50,000 coins at the moment, what in my opinion is a pretty good price for an 87 rated in form. Enjoyment wise I'm also going to give him an 8 out of 10, competitiveness wise I'm also going to give him an 8 out of 10, He'd probably be a 9 out of 10 um, if he had better finishing and he wasn't as weak. Skilling wise this guy is really really good, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10 and then overall I'm going to give this guy an 8 out of 10. Now moving sort of off the topic of the video I'm just going to be talking about why I haven't really uploaded in a while now at the moment I feel like FIFA is just completely dead and the gameplay is honestly horrific um, and I just got really bored of the game really quickly um, at the start of the game you know it was really fun like most FIFAs but as the game progressed I slowly got more and more bored of playing the game and it sort of felt more like a chore rather than playing it for enjoyment so I'm not really too sure how often I'm going to be uploading from now um, I'm definitely going to be uploading at least once a week um, you know, one player review a week, but I'm not really too sure if I'm going to be doing any more uploads other than that. Um, just because this game is completely dead, maybe if they release like a World Cup game mode or something like that, it might, you know, um, bring a spark back to the game and make it enjoyable for me again. But at the moment, I'm really just not enjoying FIFA. And the only reason I actually play the game is just to make videos and I don't really enjoy doing it, you know, just to make videos because I'm sort of like forcing myself to play the game rather than playing it for, you know, the purpose of enjoyment. So yeah, I'm not really too sure how many uploads I'm going to be having, you know, in the forthcoming weeks. Um, but yeah, as I've already said, hopefully AI will do something to, you know, make the game more enjoyable again and hopefully improve the gameplay because honestly, I played one match today, I got about 30 minutes into the match and I literally quit, I just could not play the game, it was so bad. But anyway guys, if you have enjoyed this player review and want to see more FIFA 18 player reviews on my channel, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.